Hi right, folks, Pitching Ace88, we are back. Let's go through that trap door. Yep. Let's see, let us see where this leads. And keep your pistol cocked at all times. Yes, ma'am. Nice, the underground room. That's right, Caroline. You got chapter two. Ooh, this is this is interesting. Note. Nice. Mother, is that a boxing arena ace? I believe you stumbled upon an underground fight club. Who would have imagined a place like this existed under Paddywax? Dermot never told me, that's for sure. You usually don't think Dermot played a part in keeping the fight club secret, do you? No, I refuse to believe he was involved until we have some proof. On that note, I see you already found some clues. Ace, that rope attached to a hook has blood all over it. You're right, Dick said the victim was suspended from the ceiling. And Ace, could this rope be the, what the killer used? Let's collect a blood sample. And if that's a handwritten note on one of Dr. Wilson's prescription papers, the penciled words have almost completely faded, but I'm sure you'll easily be able to clarify them. And I can't figure out what those broken bits of wood once were, but if you want to reassemble them, be my guess. Ace, look like that our victim was murdered in this fight club before being dumped outside. Finding this underground room might just be the breakthrough we needed. Yes, so uh, McDermott definitely knows what's going on underneath his place. My guess is the doctor cleared someone. It wasn't supposed to be cleared. Oh crap. Well, the fix was what we found in the fight club says, Dermont, you must be aware of the activities taking place below your pub. If you're not alerted to the authorities, I shall. So Dr. Wilson was threatening to expose the Fight Club, and his note implies that Dermont, Dermont was involved. Ace, Dermont has certainly been hiding things from us, and all of this, after I was willing to give him the benefit of the doubt? My so-called friend had better have a good explanation for all of his lies. Hey, if you guys want to add me, go into Facebook and add me. I have no problem with that. I will accept. Usually try and send a message, though, saying, hey, please, please add me. Listen to sample blood you extract from the rope and hooked Iola straight away. Twelve hours, pretty standard. Uh, winner. Oh, O'Connor. Ace, the wooden science is this month's winner, Kev O'Connell. Kev must be a fighter at this very club, Ace. Let's have a word with him. Wow. Looks like crap. Jermon, I wanted to give you the benefit of the doubt, but we now know that you're running an underground fight club. Wow, now look here, Sintra Brace. You're barking up the wrong tree. I simply run the place out. What they do down there don't concern me. That's not what Dr. Wilson thought. We know he threatened to expose you in the fight club. I thought Dr. Dead had some strange ideas about me to be sure, but I was only going to talk to him about it. All civilized like. A likely story. For all we know, you're in with the Irish gang and silence Dr. Wilson on their behalf. Ah, oh, you know me, Maddie. I'm a gentle soul. I may have boxed a good few fellas in my time. It's the only way to run a pub. But how can you ever think I'd join a gang? Well, Dermont, I clearly don't know you as well as I thought, and if you're guilty of murder, I certainly won't be your shoulder to cry on. 
No, that's reserved for Charlie. Hey, what's the crack, mate? How's your left hook? Fancy a round in the ring? Mr. O'Connell, or not. Ah, just because you're small doesn't mean you ain't a good fighter. Then your cabaret girl, Marla, she's a wee as a leprechaun, and I've seen her punch unruly punters like the best of them. Well, speaking of fighting, what can you tell us about the Underground Fight Club below Paddywax? We know you fought there. Underground Fight Club? Well, that sounds familiar. Yes, I must have fought there. I've fought everywhere. Not so good with the memory, me. Me mom always says I had the brawn, but not so much with the brains. Would well, you remember meeting Dr. Barnaby Wilson? He was found murdered a short while ago. Doctor who? I've never needed no doctors. Like, so I don't know him. I'm the best fighter in Concordia, me. Cuckoo, cuckoo. Cuckoo, cuckoo. Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in a little bit. This has been Pitching Against 88. Au revoir. Alright, alright, Pitching Against 88, we are back. Let's continue on. Hey, Ace, hey, so your hunch was well founded. The traces of blood you collect from the rope and hook do indeed belong to the victim. Ah, uh, so this confirms that Dr. Wilson was murdered in the Fight Club. Correct, but his blood also held another, rather more delicious secret. You see, I noticed a foreign suts residue in the blood, which I identified a single malt whiskey. Its PD notes place its origins in Connemara, Ireland. I can therefore surmise that your killer is partial to a dram or three of Connemara whiskey. Oh, Ace, our murderer has good taste in their tipple. I'll give him that. While we're on the subject, let's take another look around Paddywax. We know the murderer was there, so there must be more clues to find. There must, there must. No fuss, no must. Bandage has got to be something. Nope. Thought it was, I guess not. Nice. Ooh. Just hoping to get a star. Hey, you still got a doctor's bag bearing the victim's initials. We better take a look inside. Isn't that Dr. Wilson dressed to the nines in this photo? But who's this older man that he's with? Let's see if we can find him in our registry. Oh, who is he? gentleman in this photo is one Lord Frederick Wilson. He happens to be our victim's father. We better inform Lord Wilson of his son's tragic demise. Interesting. Hey, Lord Wilson, we forgot to inform you that... Oh, if you're here to tell me about my poor son, you're too late. This sad news has already been imparted to me, which is why I've come to this godforsaken place. I do hope you're doing all you can to find my son's killer officers. He was the heir to my most illustrious family, after all. What well, is rather unusual for a man of such a social standing to move to Sinner's End? Oh, my Barnaby was always so idealistic. He could have been the darling of society back home, but all he ever wanted to do was help the poor. I supported my son in his altruistic ventures, but now I wish I had stopped him. If I had, maybe my poor boy would still be alive. Now, I shall take my leave to persuade the bartender to share his private stash of 34-year-old Connemara whiskey. I hope it'll ease my suffering. Ah, oh, brother. Totally be the dad. Sucks. It would suck. Okay, since paper you found in Dr. Wilson's bag seem to be legal documents of some description. I'm afraid legalese and I go together worse than a poorly mixed cocktail, so Evie will be our safest bet in analyzing this information. She will be. 
And because uh, the bed's made behind me, means that uh, Muck is going to be staying over, so I need to record and finish up this video for tomorrow. Ace, come join us. We're playing Guess the Author. Didn't realize you two were such friends. I don't suppose it's a drinking game. Oh, much more thrilling than that. I have all these original manuscripts of classic literature, and Diego's been guessing who wrote them based on the handwriting. Oh, this writer is a beardy, respectable man, and he must be Wilkie Collins. Woman, bird-like face, eldest sister, it's Charlotte Bronte. Well, as fascinating as that sounds, I'm afraid Ace and I have no time for playing games today. Well, in that case, I shall leave you to your work, although it breaks my heart to depart when you're looking so ravishing, Maddie. Oh, great. Well, now that he's gone, Evie, what can you tell us about those documents we found in the victim's bag? Ace, these papers are the victim's last will and testament. And he left all his worldly possessions to his fiancée, Marla de Paredes. Now that's what you call true love. How interesting. Ace, I wonder if Marla knew she was set to inherit a small fortune. I agree. We should go pay her another visit. Miss de Paredes, did you know that Dr. Wilson left you everything in his will? Yes. Wasn't he just the sweetest? Mind you, Barnaby spent his money so freely that I don't think he'd had much left to give me anyway. He'd even pay for his nurse's hair powder, although I was willing to lend her my own. Well, it's really frustrating to you that Dr. Wilson was frittering away your inheritance. Oh, not at all, Sancho Brace. After all, his generosity also meant he bought me Connemara whiskey whenever I wanted. Oh, my Barnaby. What I wouldn't give up to bring him back to life. I don't think it's her. Totally be her. She seems. She seems like an angry person. A severe investigation to bring up more questions than answers. We discovered an underground fight club and learned that her victim knew about it too, and was threatened to expose it. Stopping him from doing so would have given both my supposed friend Dermont and maybe even Kev, the professional fighter, a motive for murder. What about Wilson's fiance Marla, who stood to lose more and more of her inheritance the longer our altruistic victim remained alive? So far, there's no indication whether or not this murder is related to Mad Dog's Irish game, but... Ace, we need your help. Come quick. Von Temps is about to get himself killed. Oh, brother Von Temps. Well, anyways, guys, see you guys in Chapter 3. This has been Pitching Ace 8. Over and out.